Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Scott, your novice RC racer, and today we're going to talk about my 2018 RC collection. I know a lot of you guys out there think that my Slash was my first RC, but I actually did have a few before then. Uh, my first one was the Extreme Cycle Travis Pastrana. I'm a huge <laughs> this is a this is made by Tyco, and I'm a huge Supercross motocross fan, and even a bigger Travis Pastrana fan. So when this came out, I don't remember what year it was. I had to get it. Now I didn't I didn't run it very much because I never really had a place to run it, and I didn't want to drive it on the concrete and scratch it all up. So in that time period that I haven't run it, the the batteries don't work anymore. The night pads that came with it, but it does have working suspension. It was fun to run when I had it, but I'd like to be able to run it again. So if anybody knows where I could get a replacement battery or a different type of a battery to put in here, I'd be interested to hear from you. So that is my Travis Pastrana. So next up is my DJI Phantom, Phantom 3 4K. This is a really cool drone. It's not a racing drone, obviously. It's more for photography and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it, but I do enjoy it. Uh, unfortunately, here in South Texas, it's really windy. So the, the best times to fly this are in the morning hours when it's cooler out. Um, I really do need to fly it more often. And some of you guys remember where my other truck crashed into this while I was filming. So I have used it for filming a few times. After this, I decided I wanted to... Uh, get something to film so I bought my slash and once I started racing once I got the slash I realized that there was actual racetrack nearby so I wanted to start racing so I bought the slash started racing with it um, I haven't really done very much to this truck it's basically still very much stock the only thing that I have done to it is replace shocks anybody that owns the slash knows that shocks are one of the upgrades you must do so I have the ProLine Prospect shocks in here. I also put a, a Savox servo in here. And I later on put a ProLine transmission. There wasn't really anything wrong with my old transmission. There was a funny noise. I think it was the, the slipper clutch that I installed on it. I think it was a Robinson or something. And uh, I decided just to go ahead and put it in since I had it. <clears throat> After I bought the Slash, I used to go to the hobby shop quite a bit. And I used to bother them all the time, so I figured I should probably buy something locally. So I went to the hobby shop, and I bought me the Low C Mini 8. This is an awesome, fun car. I haven't done anything to this thing except for T-bone bumpers. But it's a super fun car to drive. Anybody who's owned one would probably agree with me. Completely stock. I haven't done anything to it. The only thing I did do was I moved the ESC from the original location because I have the, uh, the original body. This is the original body that came with it, but I had the, the old style one. I like that body, the cockpit looking one a little more. So I moved the ESC. After I started uh, racing that, I wanted to bump up. And a lot of the people that I was racing with were running the, the Techno, for, uh, Techno SCT 410, the 4x4. So I went out and got me one. This is an awesome truck. It's very heavy duty. It can, it can, it's taken everything I've ever thrown at it. I've never broken anything on this thing, even as bad as I drive. But uh, it is about time for another body. I need to get another body for this thing. I hate buying bodies. They're expensive. And then painting them. And Once I get started on painting, I don't mind. It's the whole getting started on the process. <laughs> but everything on my, on my short course truck is basically stock settings, stock oils. I do have a Tekken Gen 2 system in here with, an, uh, with a 4000K Pro 4 motor. I know the 4300 would be better, but this is what was in it when I bought it. And I know a lot of you guys give me a hard time about you need to build your kits, but I needed to get in racing. I needed to get in fast and I needed to get in cheap. So I bought it used. The guy who owned it took good care of it. <clears throat> this is my team associated Apex Mini. This is an 18th, 18th scale car that we were racing indoors at the mall. 
It's a, a really fun car to drive. It's very fast. Uh, it came with a dynamite electronic system in it. Again, I bought used. Uh, but the system just wasn't keeping up, so I ended up upgrading to a castle system. And when I was racing this, I only ran it at about 40% power, and it was still very, very fast. I'd love to uh, do a speed run on this thing and see what it actually tops out at. <laughs> the body is not the original body. Um, I traded that body for this one. A guy didn't like the body. It was unpainted at the time. So I went ahead and I thought it was a cool body, so I just went ahead and changed that out. So next up, we have my Techno EB48.4. It's still dirty from the last race. I haven't cleaned it yet. This is a an awesome, awesome buggy. I wish I could be a little faster at it. I just can't keep up with the fast guys in this class. But everything on here, completely stock again. Um, I have uh, the Tekken system in this one as well. All my cars have the transponders in them. And this is just so much fun to drive. It's an it's an awesome driving vehicle and durable and tough as well. So one of the reasons I went with uh, a Techno buggy instead of going with something else was a lot of the parts were interchangeable with the Technos. I mean, there's different arms and different parts, but a lot of the parts are, are very interchangeable. So I decided to get something else and it happened to be Techno as well. I probably should make some space for this one. And then I've got my monster truck, my Techno MT410. God, this thing's huge. Anyway, so this is my Techno MT, MT This is my Techno MT410. This is an awesome truck, very fun to drive. It's a great basher. Unfortunately, I don't bash as often as I had hoped I would. Um, I did it did come with the arm electronics and I didn't want to cut it because I didn't know if I was going to keep them or not. So I had an adapter on here, a different one at the time and something had gone wrong with it. So I bought another one like this, but the wrong ends. So I need to get this thing out and start bashing on it some more. I need to clean it too, but I didn't buy this one to keep clean and race. I bought this one to go out and bash with and have fun. So <laughs> that's what this one's for. <laughs> So anyway, that's my collection of RCs. Hope you liked it. Hope you found it interesting. Please like and subscribe. And remember, a bad day at the track is better than any day at work. Catch you guys next time.